Hi, welcome to Gear Garage. I'm Zach, and this is my fun little internet show about whitewater stuff. And today I'm going to talk about pulleys and prussics and ropes. Fun stuff. Most of you like this kind of stuff. And I'm going to talk about a, what's called a progress capture system. A nice simple system for doing some sort of rope rescue. And just to set the scene, I want you to think of this as, this is one inch tubular webbing, so I'm using this to, as an anchor. It's tied on short of a tree, or a big tree, or a big rock, something I can pull hard on. And, uh... This rope, we got out to a, a boat that stuck. It could be a raft, could be a kayak, could be a cataract, could be a floating whale. I have no idea what it is. But it's something we want to use to pull. We put the rope on so we can pull really hard to get it off. In this case, you see an inflatable kayak over there. And when we pull something off, I highly recommend just trying different angles first. So pull on it really hard this way. Okay, that didn't work. Pull on it really hard over this way. Okay, that helped. That was a little bit better. Let's try over here. Oh, whoa, that's even better. And just try angles. Go up high, go down low. Try a lot of things out, and one of them through trial and error, trial and error will feel the best. And once you find that one, and you're like, oh man, I just wish we had more pulling force, that's when you should start thinking about some sort of mechanical advantage system. And so what we're going to set up today isn't really a mechanical advantage system because we're not gaining any advantage. But we are using a pulley for a change of direction. So because this pulley is rigidly attached to that tree, it doesn't move, it doesn't provide any mechanical advantage. All it does is provide a change of direction. So instead of pulling this way, I'm now pulling this way. But I can also pull that way, or that way, or that way. So if I'm on shore and I want to pull a different way because there's maybe a tree in the way, or there's rocks, or there's a scorpion about to attack, I can pull in a way that's not next to the scorpion that's about to attack. And the one thing about this pulley that's really interesting to note is this is a prussic mining pulley. It has a straight edge. Um, old school pulleys were rounded, and so if you hook the prussic up, it would get bound in the pulley. But we'll see that this prussic mining pulley with this long straight edge is really nice for working with prussics. And I highly recommend that any prussic you get or any pulley you get for swift water use is prussic mining, again, having that square edge. And they pretty much all are now, but um, just something to double check. And what I'm gonna do uh, is attach a, a prussic to this rope. And here's a few different prussics. This is one with a double fisherman's knot, this big knot works. Just take accessory cord and make yourself a loop. This is my favorite. This is the Sterling Auto Block. It's uh, really easy to work with. I like the color. It's just nice and nimble and it, it grabs pretty well on the rock. I'm not on the rock, on the rope. But for, for this use, I'm gonna use, this one is called a Sterling Hollow Block. And it's also very supple, that grips really well. And I'm using this one because somebody on a comment somewhere didn't think the hollow block would work with a self-mining pulley. And so we're gonna do this just to show off that this stuff does work well with self-mining pulleys. And um, hopefully you know how to tie a prussic onto a rope with a prussic hitch. And I'm just gonna do it here really quick. And some basics of tying this prussic hitch are, um, first of all, you want to make it, you want to really uh, dress it, make it look pretty, make these things, all these little ropes line up really nicely. This part should, should you know, be easy to move. And you don't want to put the, in this case, the, the uh, sewn loop, sewn part of the loop, or the knot at the end. Because when you attach your carabiner, you want your carabiner on the rope, not some sort of knot that's in the way. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but basically you want to have your loop kind of off to the side for, for ease of use. And you know, I like to do, when I do my, my prussic hitches, so that there's one, two, three, four, five, six ropes here across. That's a good number, I feel like, for what we're using it for. If you do more loops around and there's eight, it's gonna grip the rope better, but be harder to move, it's more, it's less nimble up and down the rope. If you do less, like there's just four little ropes around, it's gonna slide more. It'll be easy to work with, but it's, gonna, it's not gonna grip as well on the rope. I really feel like having six is a good number. And so once that, that prussic hitch is on there, I'll take my handy dandy locking carabiner, clip it into there, and then clip it onto the, uh, the main anchor. And what this does is it creates a way for me to pull really hard and then take a break. And if you look carefully, this is a self-mining pulley. This has a sharp edge. The, the prussic pushes up against it and the pulley moves it along the rope. You can see it moving along the rope 
and then when I let go, it grabs. And the thing I like, oh, it's a little twisted right now. It shouldn't be that twisted. Let me retie that because how these are set up with twists and things are really important. You don't want to just have this be sloppy. So I'm just going to fix that really quick and come back. Having it all look nice, having your beaners locked, having this dressed well, it's just really important the system working. And you can see I'm, I'm pulling on it. And I like this because with your team, you can pull really hard and take a break. And pull really hard and take a break. Instead, and the rope stays in place. So what I typically do when I have this system in place is go, all right guys, one, two, three, pull, 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 pull stop. All right, one, two, three, pull, 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 stop. And you can see every time it moves the pressing a little bit down the rope. And this ca captures the progress. It's called the progress capture system. The progress you've made pulling gets captured by the pulley. Now it's not perfectly captured. You can see every time once you pull, it gives a little bit away. But it does a really good job. And so you can pull in spurts and maybe do like five or ten. And every time you pull, get a little bit of movement and eventually it might come off. Now if you want there to be more progress capture, you could use a bigger pulley, right? This pulley is longer, so this distance is, this distance is shorter. You, if you want to do a perfect progress capture, you can shorten that distance with smaller prussics, different carabiners here, or a different uh, pulley. And you just have to know your gear. You need to buy the gear so that it captures the way you want to. But this works pretty well because you can just take these little incremental pulls. Okay, everybody, go. Pull, 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 pull. And that might do it. If it doesn't, say, hey, guys, we did our best. You know, that's when you can start pulling up the big guns if you want to. Take this off. And then you're pretty set up with this out here to do a three to one. You move that pulley out there, you put a rope on a pulley, and you pull this way, and now you have a three to one system. And so this is just a good intermediary step. I'm somewhat hesitant to set up a Z rig or a three to one because it's a little bit dangerous. There's a lot of force all of a sudden, there's a lot of moving parts, things that can snap. And so I'd rather try to do something simple like this before I move to a big time mechanical advantage system. And that's why I like this system, which I call a, which I don't call, everybody calls a progress capture system. So that's all I have for today's episode. Uh, if, you have, if you've used it and you think it's awesome, I'd love to hear a comment. Say, yeah, I've done that. It's super cool. If you think this is a terrible idea and I'm a moron, go ahead and tell me. I need to hear it because I'll stop and I can stop doing things like this if I'm completely wrong. I'm an idiot. Um, I, I appreciate the feedback. But any feedback you have about using it, not using it, questions, uh, please ask in the comments section below down there. I love answering the questions. And um, yeah, that's it for this episode. See you next time. Thanks.